Professor. I'm Sophia. And I'm Bryn. It's Friday, February 2nd, and it's a B day. There will be no school on Friday, February 9th for students due to staff professional development. Starting on Wednesday, February 7th, during all three lunch shifts, student council members will be selling Valentine grams, fun dip, popcorn candy boxes, and bracelets will be for sale for one or two dollars. Students will fill out a gram for a friend and match it with a treat or bracelet. Grams will be delivered during lunch by Hector the mascot on Valentine's Day. Are you interested in Girls on the Run? Let's find out more about this awesome club. Go. Attention all 6th or 8th grade girls. Did you participate in Girls on the Run at your elementary school or our Crestview Heart and Soul group last spring? Crestview is gearing up for the upcoming spring season and would love to know if you're interested. Heart and Soul, a program from Girls on the Run, meets all the unique needs of girls of all abilities from 6th to 8th grade. The program considers the whole person, the body, brain, heart, spirit, and social connection. Heart and Soul offers an inclusive place of belonging where girls are supported and inspired to explore their emotions, cultivate empathy, and strength, um, strengthen their physical and emotional health. At the end of the season, all program participants will complete a 5K in Forest Park. Heart and Soul will meet during after-school activities twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting in March and continuing for eight weeks leading up to the 5K on Saturday, May 11th. If you are interested in joining our team this year, please fill out the form on your grade-level campus page. We invite you to join us for a pre-season informational meeting on Thursday, February 8th. We will meet from 2.45 to 3.40, which is the normal after-school activities time, in the health room in room 506. If you have any questions, please reach out to the coaches, Coach Harrison, Coach Kearney, Coach Betts, or Coach Winkles. Are you looking for a great breakfast and a way to support your local scouts? Come enjoy some delicious all-you-can-eat pancakes, sausages, orange juice, and coffee, while helping Troop 371 raise money for a new trailer. Saturday, February 3rd, from 8 to 11.30 a.m. at St. Clair of Assisi Church Cafeteria. Adult tickets are $12, and children 3 to 12 years old are $8. Children under 3 are free. Please check the lost and found in the cafeteria during lunch to see if you have any items that need to be claimed. All items will be donated if they're not claimed. Write a heart about a book you love and you'll be entered to win a Travis Kelsey poster and a Taylor Swift book. Between now and Valentine's Day, students can write a conversation heart about a book they love. We will display all the hearts at the library circulation desk and choose one winner for the poster and book. Which president signed the law creating the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday? Reagan. Which president signed the first major civil rights act of this century? Johns. Johnson. <laughs> what year was the Martin Luther King Jr. national holiday first observed? 1976. So today we're going to be talking about Robert Johnson for Black History Month. He is one of the blues artists. He played with some of the big people. Uh, he played with, he taught a little bit of Money Waters how to play. Um, he was with Sonny. Uh, he, he was with um, Death. He made uh, Sweet Home Chicago and The Crossroads. One of the good songs right there. And, um, he played an acoustic guitar for his life and play, so I play that guitar because he was doodle at first. Yeah, that's how it go.
challenging me to a dance-off? Yeah. Well, bring it! This has been a Crestview Curtain Call production. Made at Crestview. Woo